Hello and welcome to a Sophisticated Pairs video blog. My name is Erica and today I'm going to be reviewing the highly anticipated Curvy Kate Smoothie. Now the smoothie made headlines a few months back because it was announced to be the first molded foam cup t-shirt bra available up to a J cup. Now as someone who wears an H or a double H cup, I was excited about this because it can be very difficult to find a molded foam cup in my size. So I had to try one out. However, I do want to preface this review by saying that I have some particular fit issues with Curvy Kate. I struggle to get the right fit from them and I feel like their fit model and my body don't always coincide. So a lot of times, even though I love a particular style they offer, I find I just don't get a comfortable enough fit from my body. So take this into account as I walk you through the review. For sizing, I tend to be right around a 30 double H or J cup in Curvy Kate styles, but I heard that the smoothie not only ran generous in the cup, but also in the band. So I ended up ordering the 28J. Now the 28J is actually a pretty good fit for me. The cup size is perfect, it's not too big, um, it's not too small either, I'm not getting any kind of overflow at the top. Uh, it's laying nice and smooth up against my breast tissue. The band is a little firm. In fact, I would liken this 28 to the uh, recently reviewed Panache Jasmine bra. Um, it's not necessarily a super short one, but the band itself doesn't feel quite as stretchy as uh, some of the other styles I've tried from Curvy Kate. Um, recently I've lost weight, so it tends to put me almost in between the 28 and the 30 band sizes. And the 28 feels pretty good to me, but if you are more in between uh, the 30 and 32, don't size an entire band size down. Uh, you're going to feel like it's too tight and it's too constricting. So keep that in mind with the sizing. Now the fit is an entirely different issue. As I mentioned, I'm having some problems with Kirby Kate because I feel like they design their bras with a wider center gore, uh, larger underwires that go further back on the sides, as well as cups that tend to be a little shallower towards the center. And this just doesn't work as well for my shape. So I'm actually running into some of the same fit issues I have with their regular bras with the smoothie. For starters, I feel like my breasts are splayed outward. I feel like I'm kind of doing that east-west thing, which I don't particularly care for in a bra. And I really feel like this underwire is kind of pushing the tissue backward. Also on the sides here, it's leaning very far back onto my rib cage, which isn't as comfortable. So I feel like, particularly in this spot right here, that after I wear it for a couple hours, it's just going to be so uncomfortable that I'm not going to be able to put the bra back on. So I really don't feel like that's going to be a comfortable enough fit for me. Um, also, I'm having some issues where the foam cup, despite being kind of rigid, just doesn't seem to give me enough support from the bottom. Um, if you notice here, I actually have what looks to be uh, space um, in the cup, but it's actually not space. My breast tissue here is so heavy, it's literally crinkling the cup downward. So I feel like maybe if these straps had been inset just a little bit more, maybe sat like here, then I would be okay because it would actually give the, the weight of the breast here a little bit more support from the top. So this would kind of smooth it out some. But as it is, um, it's definitely just putting a lot of pressure on the foam cup and it's creating this weird kind of divot here at the bottom where it's just not able to lift as much upward. So that's some of the fit issues I'm having with it. Having said that, the material on it is fantastic. I do like how they used a fully adjustable strap. This little uh, diamond drop pendant here in the middle is super cute. Uh, I like the foam that they used. I think it's, it's nice enough to contour, thick enough to contour well, but it's not too thick either. Uh, I like that they used a pattern on the cup instead of just doing something very basic. So it gives you, you know, your t-shirt bra, but in a fun way. It's kind of a leopard print in case you can't see it on the video. Uh, overall, the materials themselves feel very comfortable and soft. The wings in the back are really firm, but again, very comfortable too. My only complaint is I just feel like the fit just isn't there for me. Um, I think that this would be a fantastic bra for someone who has maybe a little bit wider set breasts than I have, um, or also who has a torso that tends to be wider across the front and then narrower on the side. Uh, mine is the exact opposite of that. I tend to be my narrowest from the front, and then when you look at it from the side, I tend to be a little bit thicker. So I feel like for my particular shape, Curvy Kate, and by extension, the Curvy Kate Smoothie, just aren't the right fit for me. Um, especially when you compare it to some of the other reviews I've done, like particularly of Freya. Um, you can even just see, comparing the video against video, that one looks so much better uh, than the other. This one just feels like it's, it's pushing me too far apart, and it's really not getting the overall shape of my breasts. However, like I said, having said that, and, and prefacing with it that I do have some issues with Curvy Kate, I still like this bra. I really do. I think that this is a fantastic bra. 
Um, I think it's just not the right shape for me, but I can imagine someone like, say, my friend Desi being able to wear this without a problem. So if you've ever tried the Freya Deco bra before, or maybe even the Parfait Casey, and you weren't as happy with having that narrow underwire in the center or the narrower wires on the sides, the smoothie might be a great option for you. Um, and the materials are top notch too, so I mean it's really a quality bra. I just don't feel like I'm getting the perfect fit from it that I expect. So I'm going to abstain from giving it a complete grade because like I said the fit just isn't there for me. But based off what I've seen of the quality and the construction, I do think this is a solidly designed bra and it's certainly worth giving a try. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or would like to know more information about any bras we review here, please feel free to email sophisticatedpair at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out our Facebook, Twitter, and blog for all the latest news and event information. Thank you.